Yeah. I'm not going to have Okay. I want to thank everybody that came tonight. I know that a lot of you here were here because of this issue, and a lot of you are against this ordinance, even though only some of you spoke. I appreciate you being here. Um, <clears throat> I've got to admit that um, when I first heard about this brunch bill, it really disturbed me on a lot of different levels. Um, I, I really got, a, got emotional about it. It made me angry. It made me angry that our legislature was so calloused and totally disregarding the, the convictions of a large, large part of their constituents, the Christian community, because that's exactly what they did. These people, you people, pay your taxes, you participate in elections, um, you don't ask much from the government in general. Uh, the Christian community didn't ask the legislature to reinstate the blue laws so that you can have any retail sales on Sunday. <coughs> the Christian community did not ask that alcohol sales be prohibited on Sunday. They didn't ask that we prohibit alcohol sales on Saturday or Friday or Wednesday or any of the other days that some faiths practice. The only thing that they ask, the, the Christian community asks is that um, that we get the two hours, the two hours of worship on Sunday mornings that we've had for, for many years and um, without the, uh, the sale of alcohol in our neighborhoods. But the legislature chose to ignite a controversy that they were not willing to stand up for. And they put it on us, on our backs. So now that decision has to come here tonight. Um, when I voiced my opinion, one of the first people who, um, who I talked to told me, uh, Royce, you need to put, you need to take off your religious hat and you need to think about the money that Onslow County is going to benefit in this, uh, from this bill. And I thought about that and, and I can't really take off my religious hat, but I did put aside my religious hat and I went to my computer and I decided to look at the statistics. And I did that. I did a lot of research, um, did a lot of research, looked at a lot of uh, different studies. I started finding all kinds of studies. If you, if you look at the, if you look at what's out there, there are just dozens and dozens of studies that talk about the dangers of alcohol the uh, cost of alcohol abuse to our society. Um, and I'm not even going to try to go through them all, but studies from the National Institute of Health, the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse, the National Institute of Drug Abuse, the Centers for Disease Control. Um, you've heard some of the statistics here. But you know what? I, uh, the alcohol abuse costs our state uh, billions of dollars every year. Matter of fact, uh, one of the statistics that I found said that alcohol and um, that opioid abuse cost our um, cost our state, the state of North Carolina, two or one point three billion dollars a year. But the abuse of alcohol and other drugs costs six point eight billion dollars a year. I also saw a statistic. I didn't see one that was mentioned here earlier about twenty five thousand dollars into the county coffers from uh, alcohol sales, but, but what I did see is that uh, the state, um, the state uh, income from alcohol sales is, uh, all tax income is $1 billion, but it costs us $6.8 billion to make $1 billion, so what does that tell you about $25,000? When I looked at the uh, at the crime and the drunk driving, the marital issues, abuse, uh, the damage that's caused by alcohol, um, and all these statistics that I looked up over and over again, you know what I didn't find? You know what I didn't find? I did not find one single study that said the alcohol at, br at brunch was good for our society. Not one. I didn't find one single study that said selling more alcohol will benefit the citizens. 
I didn't find one study that said selling more alcohol for two hours a week will benefit Onslow County. And Onslow County is who I'm here to represent tonight. In fact, the statistics that I did find said that alcohol is a problem in Onslow County. We have a problem with alcohol already. Um, 4.9% of the automobile crashes in North Carolina are alcohol-related, but in, that, in Onslow County, 6.7% of, of the crashes are alcohol-related. That's one and a half times almost what the state average is. Um, you already, uh, Commissioner Price already talked about traffic deaths. 32% is the North Carolina average. 32% of traffic deaths in North Carolina are alcohol related, but 35% in Onslow County are alcohol related. Uh, we just spent an hour and a half last night, and again, Commissioner Price mentioned the, the drug and alcohol rehab center that we're working on. Pitton area spent $2 million. Uh, for a rehab center, we spent an hour with Onslow, uh, with the Jacksonville um, City Council last night talking about it. Uh, we talked a lot about the need, and there's a need for a, a, a abuse center in Onslow County. In fact, we lost eight of our citizens in Onslow County to drug uh, overdoses in 2016. That's tragic. Did you know we lost 38 of our citizens in Onslow County to alcohol accidents? 38. Um, in, in 2015 and 2016, Jacksonville had the dubious honor of being known as the drunkest city in North Carolina. The drunkest city in North Carolina. According to a 2016 article in the Daily News, um, the same article said that a certified substance abuse prevention consultant with the Community Prevention Services Incorporated was quoted as saying, preventing and combating Binge drinking is important to public health. Um, so how do we prevent and combat uh, binge drinking? Well, the Center for Disease Control Task Force study on excessive alcohol consumption recommends that one way to prevent and combat Binge drinking is to maintain limits on the days and hours during which alcohol can be sold. That's what we need to do here today. In fact, the study indicates that, uh, that increasing the number of uh, hours of alcohol sales by just two hours, how convenient that they actually talked about two hours in the study, but by increasing the hours of sale by two hours, it will contribute to excessive drinking and many dangerous outcomes. So when I got, uh, so my conclusion after taking off my religious hat is that the, uh, the statistics tell me, the facts tell me that this is bad public policy. It's not the way to go. I can't even believe that we have to talk about it when we're spending millions of dollars on a treatment center. But uh, this is not in the best interest of the citizens of Onzo County. Um, it may result in a little bit more revenue to the county, but as already been said here, this is all about money. This is about the money. The citizens of Onzo County that we've heard from are opposed to this bill. The people who are in favor of this bill are the associations, the hotel and restaurant association, the retail merchants, so the people who are going to make the money off of it. They're not the ones that are going to suffer the consequences. And I've heard uh, also that, uh, you know, well, but Jacksonville did it, but Swansboro did it, but Topsell did it. Well, it's going to hurt our businesses. Um, we got to look out for Onslow County citizens the best way we can. Um, I can't vote for something that will allow a few alcohol dealers to profit on the backs of the citizens of Onslow County. I'm sorry that these cities chose to do what they did, but that's not what we can decide on tonight. We can only decide tonight on what Onslow County is going to do. Onslow County is different from these cities. Jacksonville has 44 square miles of territory with 150, 200 off, uh, police officers to police it. Um, our sheriff has about that same number of deputies to police 767 square miles. 
Um, it's not like the, the, the city doesn't have the, to support the social services and the family crises and the health departments that are going to result from what we do here tonight. So um, I can't vote to spend money on a drug treatment center at the same, in the same night that I vote to increase the hours that we allow alcohol dealers to distribute their drugs. And I hope that we can defeat this bill tonight. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chair. <clears throat>